So ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with the watch market update. And today our first watch is an unbelievable looking time machine. It's an unbelievable looking time machine. It is the Rolex Yellow Gold Daytona. Take a look, see at the pictures, an unbelievable time machine. Unbelievable, the Rolex Yellow Gold Daytona John Mayer. Unbelievable. Anyway, so we're talking about the Rolex Daytona Yellow Gold John Mayer with a green dial. Reference number 116508. Unbelievable, 40 millimeter. Retail price of that beautiful time machine is $38,700. And at one moment in the lollipop sucker era, in the window liquor era, or in the Corona era, unbelievable, was over, over $150,000. Unbelievable, but true. Unbelievable. I mean, you do whatever you want with your money. You do whatever you want. If you still want to continue maintaining these flim flammers that have been fleecing you for so long, that's up to you. If you want to maintain them and you want to see them still driving around their red gold fast red car and their Louis Vuitton Nike sneakers, their ripped jeans, the Montclair sweaters, you know, the Supreme hoodies, you know, that's up to you. You know, their sushi dinners, their steak dinners, that's up to you. But the watch market is dead at this moment. Or should we use a, a, a kinder word for you guys out there? It's critical, huh? Should we use critical? Because maybe you don't like the word dead. But it is dead. Unbelievable, but true. And we're going to have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, don't pay for that use slider condition material. John Mayer, Daytona, yellow gold with a green dial. Don't pay more. And I mean, don't pay more than $51,000. And bam, the watch market he did. Our next watch is another Rolex. Another Rolex Daytona. Take a look at the picture of this Rolex Daytona. Unbelievable. It is a Rolex Rose Gold Daytona with a chocolate dial. Unbelievable, unbelievable looking time machine. The reference number that watches the 116515 with a 40 millimeter. It has a retail price of $31,500. Unbelievable, but true. And at one moment, at one moment, it was over $47,000, this watch. And then when they discontinued, it went up to $50,000. Unbelievable, but true. You know, you people... They have you mesmerized with the word discontinue, and you think that those watches are going to go up to a million dollars. And I got news for you. I got news for you. These people are just flim flamming you with that word. These people are just fleecing you with that word. You got to stop being lollipop suckers. You got to stop being window lakers. You got to tell these cockroaches and monkeys that the watch market is dead and that you have been tired and that you're tired of being fleeced by them. That's right, you tell them in their face. You tell them in their face. And we're gonna have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, don't pay for that beautiful Rolex. They tone a rose gold with a chocolate dial, oyster flex. Don't pay more, and I mean don't pay more than $33,000 and bang, the watch market is dead. Unbelievable, true. Unbelievable. You gotta stop being with the liquors, ladies and gentlemen. The watch market is dead. No matter what these flim flammers keep on telling you, the watch market is dead. You tell these cockroaches in the face, you look at them straight in the eyes and you tell them, but the watch market is dead. That's all, you tell them that. It's like, a, it's like you know, Dracula, when you, they, they put that thing in their heart, that's what happens to them, you know? They become Dracula at that moment. When you tell them that the watch market is dead, they become Dracula, unbelievable. Unbelievable. They don't want to hear that word. But you tell them. You tell those cockroaches and monkeys that the watch market be dead. Right? Our next watch is another Rolex. Another Rolex Daytona. Unbelievable, that Rolex Daytona. Take a look. See at the picture of this Rolex Daytona. Unbelievable looking time machine. This is the Rolex Daytona Platinum. Unbelievable with that pamper. You know, the pampers that the babies use. When, you know, the, the pampers. You know, pamper. The pamper blue. The Pamper Blue Dial, unbelievable, unbelievable. Chrono with a chocolate bezel. Reference number 116506 with a retail price of $83,400. Unbelievable. 
And at one moment, this watch was over, over. In the Corona era, in the Window Licker era, in the Lollipop Sucker era, in the Tomato Can era, you know, <laughs> unbelievable. It was over $185,000. You know, and we're going to have to tell you today, we're going to have to tell you today, ladies and gentlemen, the honest truth. Don't pay for that beautiful Rolex Platinum Daytona. Don't pay more. And I mean, don't pay more than $76,000 and bang, the watch market be dead. <laughs> watch market be dead. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, that we have a debt in this country with credit cards of $1.4 trillion. People are drowning in debt. That's right. Don't buy watches with credit cards. If you don't have the spare cash, do not buy watches. Our next watch is an unbelievable looking time machine. It is the Rolex Daytona. Unbelievable. Take a look. See at this unbelievable loud looking Daytona. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow. Take a look. See at it. Unbelievable. This is the Rolex yellow gold Daytona leopard dial leopard strap. Reference number 116598, 40 millimeter. Retail price of that watch is $77,300. That's right. Unbelievable looking time machine. Unbelievable. Unbelievable looking time machine. And me, and me and sweet Kit Keno are going to have to tell you the truth. We're going to have to tell you the truth. This watch at one moment was up there. In the $90,000 mark. The $90,000 mark. Unbelievable. It takes a real, you know, a person that's very sure of themselves to, you know, wear this watch. It's unbelievable. As you can see it. Wow. Unbelievable. And we're going to have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, you do whatever you want with your money. And we understand that you guys have a lot of deep pockets out there. But we're going to have to tell you, don't pay for that Leopard Daytona. Don't pay more. Then $63,000 and nothing. Watch my be dead. Our next watch is a Rolex, a Rolex Daytona. Take a look at the picture. This beautiful Rolex Daytona, stainless steel. Unbelievable with a white dial. Unbelievable looking time machine. The reference number of this watch is the 116520 with a 40 millimeter case. The retail price of this watch is $13,100. Unbelievable looking time machine. This watch was over, over at one moment, over $25,000. Unbelievable, but true. Unbelievable. And we're going to have to tell you today, ladies and gentlemen, don't pay for that beautiful Rolex Daytona with a white dial stainless steel. Don't pay more. And I mean, don't pay more than $16,000. And bang, the watch might be dead. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, remember the word $1.4 trillion. Watch Mark be dead. Our next watch is a Patek Philippe, the Celestial. Unbelievable. Grand complications. Rolls go. Unbelievable, as you can see in the picture. Unbelievable looking time machine. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The Celestial, the 6102. Rolls go. Has a retail price of $333,000 with $470. Unbelievable. 44 millimeter. And we're going to have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, don't pay for that Celestial. Don't pay more than $274,000 and the watch market be dead. Unbelievable. Our next watch is another Patek Philippe. Another Patek Philippe that is beautiful. Take a look at the picture at this beautiful Patek Philippe. Unbelievable looking Patek Philippe. Unbelievable. This is the Patek Philippe Calatrava Pilot Travel Time Alarm. Unbelievable. The 5520. It has a 42.2 millimeter casing. Unbelievable. Has a retail price of 282800 Unbelievable. Platinum. Unbelievable, this watch. It's unbelievable. It has more buttons than my shirt. <laughs> looking time machine unbelievable as you can see in the picture but it really has more buttons 
than my shirt. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And we're going to have to tell you, don't pay for that beautiful Patek Philippe Calatrava. Don't pay for that Calatrava Pilot Travel Time Alarm with a platinum casing, 5520. Don't pay more. And I mean, don't pay more than $142,000 and dopping. Watch my day. Our next watch is a Patek Philippe. Take a look, she had the picture. Unbelievable looking Patek Philippe. Unbelievable, unbelievable. But it's the Patek Philippe stainless steel annual calendar chrono, 5905 with a green dial. Unbelievable. Has a retail price of 64,220. And ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna have to tell you don't pay more for that beautiful Patek Philippe annual calendar chrono, 5905. Don't pay more than $49,000 and bang, the watch market dead. I'm dead. Our next watch is an unbelievable looking watch. <laughs> unbelievable. Take a look at the picture of this watch. Unbelievable. This is a Tudor. <laughs> Miss Piggy. Unbelievable, this Miss Piggy. Stainless steel black bay chrono. You know, with the pink dial. Unbelievable, unbelievable. It has a reference number, this watch is the M79360N0019. It has a retail price of $5,675. That's right. And at uh, one moment, this watch was just crazy. This Miss Pig, this Miss Piggy was unbelievable, you know? Was over, was over $25,000 when it was first released. And it came out of the gates. Unbelievable. And we're going to have to tell you today, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, you do whatever you want with your money, but don't pay for that Miss Piggy. You know, crown of pink doll. Don't pay. And I mean, don't pay. Don't pay more than $6,900 and nothing. <laughs> the white bag of the day. White bag of the day. Our next watch is an unbelievable looking time machine. It is the Adamas Piquet Royal Oak. Unbelievable. Take a look, see, at the picture of this AP. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It is the AP Royal Oak Chrono. Stainless steel, 41 millimeter, black dial. Reference number 26320. Has a retail price of $26,900. And at one moment, it was over forty five, fifty thousand dollars $50,000, you know, in the Corona era, you know, the lollipop sucker era, the window licker era. Unbelievable. Stop getting flim flam. Stop getting flim flam. Don't let these cockroaches keep on fleecing you. These guys are a bunch of monkeys. All right? These guys are a bunch of monkeys. They see you as monkeys. They see you as dodo birds. Understand me? And I'm going to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, don't pay for this beautiful AP Royal Oak Chrono Stainless Steel 41 millimeter Black Dial 26320. Don't pay more. And I mean, don't pay more than $28,000 in dumping. Unbelievable. Watch market be dead. Unbelievable. Our next watch is another AP Royal Oak. Unbelievable. Take a look at the picture of this beautiful AP Royal Oak unbelievable unbelievable ladies and gentlemen this is the ap royal oak chrono stainless steel panda you know panda like this <laughs> unbelievable like this unbelievable the panda 41 millimeter the 26331 has a retail price of thirty four thousand six hundred dollars Unbelievable, but true. Unbelievable. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to tell you, I mean, you do whatever you want, but don't pay for that beautiful AP Royal Crown Stainless Steel Panda. Don't pay more. And I mean, don't pay more than $36,000 and damn, the watch might get dead. Unbelievable, but true. Watch might get dead. Our next watch is a Bacheron Constantin. Take a look, see, at this VC overseas. Unbelievable, this Vacheron Constantin. Unbelievable. 
unbelievable. The ultra thin perpetual calendar pink gold with a 41.5 millimeter casing has a retail price of $111,000. Unbelievable with that beautiful steel dial. The 4300V, unbelievable, dash 120 BO64. And ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna have to tell you, don't pay for that beautiful overseas. Don't pay more, and I mean don't pay more than $77,000 and bang! Watch Marketing Dead. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you enjoy my watch market update for this week. And like I was telling you earlier today, remember, keep in mind, be careful with your credit cards, the way you're using them and the way you're spending your credit card line. The watch market at this moment is very, very critical. It is, so be careful. Use your credit cards wisely, use them for important things so you can defend yourself and defend your family matters. Stop maintaining these flim flammers out there and buying watches. The watch market is dropping by a day. By the day, it's dropping, all right? Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed my watch market update. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our private watch group. It's under my name, Juan Nieves, J-U-A-N, Nieves, N-I-E-V as in Victor, E-S. It's on Facebook, and you can follow me there. Just scroll down to About, and you're going to see Opus and Time Watches, and there is our private watch group, and maybe you will be accepted in our watch group. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, Watch Market Update show for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video, and like I say every week, take care and brush your hair. This is the Blue Grotto in Capri, Italia. Hey,